Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a sort of, I see I see these videos happening all the time where it's like, learn to code in 30 days, learn to code in 60 days, and they're really misleading, and oftentimes they're not even true. So I'm going to talk a little bit about why they're misleading and why it's really a bad precedent to even watch videos like that and go ahead and, and dive into it just a little bit because I think they're causing a lot of harm to people who actually want to be a developer and grind and, and grow and, and learn, actually learn to code. <laughs> If you're interested in learning to code and getting that dev career started, might I recommend Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. You can check them out at devmountain.com. They have various programs, full stack web development, iOS development, uh, quality assurance, and more. One of the unique things about Dev Mountain is that they include their uh, housing with tuition so you can get up and go and live amongst other students and sort of have a real unique experience in that fashion. So check them out at devmountain.com. So I know you've seen these videos where in the title in big caps, it said, learn to code in 60 days. I got a dev job in just 30 days. And they're all bullshit. Uh, <laughs> when you actually look into it, they're, they're not really real. Even when you look at like um, things like coding boot camps, where they'll typically, the average coding boot camp will have you two weeks of prep, and then you'll be there for about 10 to 12 weeks. You're looking at a four month period of time and even then, like I personally recommend that you go and you you study for about three to six months on top of that, which is much more, there's a big difference between two months and nine months, uh, which is probably the bare minimum it's going to take you. And a lot of times when you're talking about learning to code, what the hell does that even mean, right? What is that? Did you learn JavaScript? Is that what it means when you say I learned to code? Um, it's, it's such a generic statement a lot of times that you have a lot of people taking advantage of that so can you learn the basics of javascript for instance in six weeks yeah i, I or, or eight weeks i believe so um you know we could sit down here we could talk about um you know control flow with if statements uh for loops while loops switches um, you know, data types, we could talk about all that and you could understand it. And I, I think you'd be able to somewhat work with it. Um, but when you say learn, when, when a lot of these, um, blogs and videos and all this sort of stuff say, learn to code in, in 60 days or something like that. Right. Um, it's really misleading. Uh, the reason for it is a lot of times people read that, that learn to code in 60 days and what they see and what the intention of the author a lot of times is is how to become a developer in 60 days how to get that developer job in 60 days and even if they got a developer job in 60 days um, a lot of times there's a lot of untold truths um, you know like a lot of it is hey I learned to code when I was younger and I built a bunch of projects and I sort of have this domain knowledge that I didn't you know, touch for a couple of years or, Hey, I may, you know, computer science drop out or something like that. And I did a bunch of coding in, in college or, um, or, Hey, the role I got hired for is an unpaid internship. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a slave labor role. So something that some States are even considering making outright illegal and have had, you know, class action lawsuits for those roles where you're gathering coffee um, and not actually learning anything of value. Um, so a lot of that gets brushed under the rug because it doesn't fit the, the the narrative of, hey, look how great I am. I have, I, I am, I've learned to code in 60 days. I am a, a genius and you could be a genius too if you buy my course for $500, right? So <laughs> that's usually where it goes. Um, so I, I, I think it's I, part, of, part of the reason I'm making this is it's, it's not like, oh, Dylan's a hater because it took him longer than 60 days to learn to code or anything like that. Um, it's when you set people up for unrealistic expectations, you set them up for failure. You set them up for a, a situation in which they're not ready to ha handle it. So if I tell you, hey, 
you can learn 60 days of code. I'm confident about it. Yeah, 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 I did it. You can do it too. Blah, 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 blah. Forgetting all these other caveats and definitely not, you know, really explaining the situation total. You might be 60 days in and struggling as you probably should be in reality. And then you get 90 days, 120 days. You might just give up right then and there. Say, I'm never going to get it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking dunce. I, <laughs> I, uh, this shit's too complicated for me. But in reality, what happened was someone told you that you could be a developer in 60 days. Um, and you know, you, and you believed them and, you said this is somebody I respect or this is somebody who I, I can, uh, this speaks to me and that I can do it. And it's, even when you say the, the whole learn to code thing is such a strange, strange item because oftentimes that just means like, hey, I picked up a programming language and I, I know the basics of it. But to become a developer in any space, you need to know much more than just a programming language you want to be front end and you're like learn you learn to code javascript did you pick up jquery react angular did you pick up git html css maybe responsive web design principles and it's not to discourage anybody but i want i want there to be an understanding of realistic expectations so when you see these stories nine out of ten are very very uh just showing a finite truth and not showing all the other truths, right? And not diving into the details. And and what what happens a lot of times is you set yourself up for failure and you set yourself up for disappointment. And when that happens, you're more likely to give up because it's hard. It's it's hard. I believe almost anybody can learn to code. But and I this part of the reason I did this channel because I I think that anyone can be a developer and anyone can learn these great skills that are are good for the marketplace and if you work hard and you grind and it may take you a year it took me probably about a year to to get to a level where i felt and this is after spending you know two years in in the cs program going doing you know i probably did six java courses and and going through the coursework and a year on my own because it takes time for you to build up those those patterns right and that's why a lot of times when you you may understand for loops you may understand if statements and the basics of javascript but when you go to solve an algorithm not even like a very computer science heavy algorithm i'm not telling you to bubble sort or anything like that but literally like hey um i need you to filter out something from these words uh you know some basic sort of free code camp algorithm you freeze up you you, you know people you have no idea how to get started because you haven't really mastered the thinking process of what it means to be a developer. And that's really what these learn to code in 60 days are trying to tell you is that learn to code and, you know, get a developer job right now, $100,000 salary, you know, $60,000 salary, whatever is a, a big number for you. Uh, and it's, it's very, it's very unfortunate. Um, and it's 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 just a a lot of times it's just a way to get views. Uh, it's just like a clickbait ass title, right? If I if I did a, a video here, learn to code in 30 days, it would probably be my most watched video on this channel within a week and a half. It really it really would be, uh, but it would be dishonest. It would be it would be something that wouldn't be the truth, or in a in a very in a very strange way would be a untruth where i could technically tell you that i got my dev job in 30 days because it's technically true it's about 45 where i saw how i got a dev job in 45 days i applied for about 45 days i got a job and but the year before that or the nine months before that i grinded it out i built a portfolio i got all the skills i worked on the skills on a daily basis and a lot of times shit like that's omitted shit like that is is just like oh that's just fluff who wants to know that let's tell them about the 45 days where you apply and then you got a job right and it, it's it's really unfortunate it's just dishonest um you know a lot of people are willing to do anything for views and um at the detriment of their audience so when you see these these videos that are telling you just um take it with a grain of salt you know, some may be truth, 
true. Uh, I, I don't necessarily believe that. And I think a lot of times when you look at the details, you know, it's what, how great of a job do you have and what are you actually doing, right? Um, are you making $10 an hour as a developer? Or are you making $40 an hour as a developer? And, and money's not everything, but it definitely uh, pays the bills and <laughs> it keeps lights on and uh, keeps food in your stomach and um, clothes for your kids and things like that. But those are the things that I think are being missed a lot of times when you, when you have these sort of clickbait ass items where they don't tell you the whole truth. They don't tell you about the unpaid internships. They don't tell you about this and that and you know how they is actually closer to a year but then they came back to it after six months and then they put in two months of hard work and all this sort of craziness so uh when you see those things just keep that in mind because I, I don't want you to to think that you're you're behind your um you know you're not up to the developer standard um and that you're not ready to to go because that's really what they're trying to tell you how you could be a dev in 60 days is not a real realistic item can you learn the basics of a programming language? Probably, absolutely. But can you be a developer in 60 days? I don't think so. Um, definitely not one anyone's gonna hire for more than minimum wage anyhow, um, a lot of the time. So that's my two cents. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate y'all uh, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. That notification bell's a thing, do that. I'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, guys, I found the answer on how you can learn to code in just one day. Believe it or not, uh, my, my homie here, uh, Nick, said, grab some really warm clothes, get your laptop, book a ticket to Alaska, Antarctica, and there you go. Because a day there lasts for six months. But that's a little sub detail that we don't need to worry about. But you can learn in one day. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to thank our sponsor, deviceplus.com. They have a great Internet of Things blog where they're talking about Arduino and Raspberry Pi stuff. And if you click the Device Plus icon there, you can check out this awesome article about how to make a laser tripwire using Arduino.